Hello everyone, we're here. Uh, today's episode, we're gonna make some coffee. And we brought in our coffee expert because at Altura, we make our coffees, but uh, some people have said, uh, you guys don't know what you're doing. And so today we brought in our coffee expert, kind of, he's gonna nod his head. Uh, but he knows a lot more than we do. And Jason Hartman, thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. Tell Good us to be here. what we're doing wrong and how come your coffee tastes so much different than how we make it. Because what we're using is that thing over there, uh -huh. this, guy. this thing over here, uh -huh. these guys over here, yep. and some pre-ground coffee. Okay, so I would probably say first of all, mm -hmm. Uh, getting pre-ground coffee is the worst a idea. big no-no. Yeah. So that w I would probably avoid that. Um, and that's why I would recommend people if they're gonna spend money in something to mm -hmm. actually spend money on a grinder because a grinder will actually um, grind the bean perfectly for the pour. So, um, so if you're gonna get a grinder, this one's actually really nice. It's like a little bit over $100, but it will last a, a long time and it does an amazing job. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it's the encore. So sweet. So we got it. you some coffee. Mm. Uh, we traveled yes. all the way to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and got you this rock star because yep. that's what we are. We rock stars, right? Yep. And there's a little gerbil on there. Shout out to Anodyne Coffee. Anodyne Coffee. Yeah. Good Actually coffee. went here and we got pizza. Have you ever got the pizza uh, from there? I haven't. No. It's so good. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see how this is okay. done. So we're gonna take the coffee, make sure you have a scale to make sure everything is measured so it's consistent every time. So uh, we wanna make sure you have a scale going. So if you're gonna do, we're gonna do a Chemex. Uh, this is fine as well, the V60 for doing coffee as well. Everybody likes it different ways. I just enjoy the Chemex the best. Um, some people say the V60 is better than the Chemex, but I'm just, I just know what I like. So um, so we're gonna go with the Chemex for the coffee. So this is the way I typically do it. I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna make sure that the water is hot. So make sure you have hot water. If you're really, you know, go crazy over the coffee, you're gonna measure the temperature, which you want the temperature to be 205 degrees. And that do is... you also use like bottled water? Yes. Okay. You want to use bottled water, you want to use clean water. The better the water, the better the coffee. Huh. Um, so, if you're getting it out of the tap, it's probably not going to be quite as good. Are you guys using tap water? No. Okay, We're okay, using okay. It from jugs of gallons. Oh, yeah, yeah, of that stuff. Okay, okay, yeah. cool. So, but anyways. What is your, you have a preference on your beans? Yes, so I like Central American beans uh, or South American beans. So, this is actually from South America, so very good. Yeah. Um, the African beans are a little bit more uh, what, what we call fruity, so it has like a little bit of a different taste. Some people aren't a big fan of that. I know my wife does not like that at all. Yep. Um, she'll drink it, but uh, I like any kind of coffee. You know, give me any kind and I'll drink it. Right. Um, so. My wife loves the Kenya one. Oh, the Kenya one. Yeah. So she likes the yeah. fruity one. Yeah. And to me, I'm still debating on it. Uh, we're still waiting for this to warm up. So it's it's almost you there. You want to grind? We can grind it, except it takes a lot of power to run both. So I don't know if you want to, oh, you know. We don't want to blow we the can, circuits. Here. Yeah, we don't want to blow the circuits, but we can measure. So we're going to take the top of this guy, and this is what we're going to use to measure uh, how much coffee we're going to put in here. Uh, for the Chemex, I normally do, uh, for a full cup, I'll normally do about 45 grams of coffee. Um, yeah, about 45. I like it a little bit stronger. A lot of people will say go 42 grams, but I'm, you know, living life on the edge. So, um, so anyway, you measure it here. Uh, I like, um, something I like about these coffees, like local roasters, is they don't burn the coffee. Some of the big name brands will burn the mess out of their coffee. That's what gives it like that dark flavor, but it keeps it consistent, so that's why a lot of the big name brands will burn their coffee because it keeps it tasting the same everywhere you go. Whereas, you know, every roaster kind of has a different take on it. So, 
um, but I don't like my coffee burnt, so okay. this is good. Yeah. And so. I think this is like a newer one that they're doing. I've never Are they seen trying it out? before. Okay. I, yeah, I've never seen it before. Cool. I'm excited to taste yeah. it. So, okay, it. so we're gonna measure it out here. We're doing good old 45. Keep it going. Keep it going. Oh, oh. Okay, I went over a little bit. We got it. You got to make it perfect. That's that's just the way you do it with coffee. You know how many times I've measured um, my coffee? How many times? Zero. <laughs> so that's why I measure the coffee. Here, it keeps it consistent. Here okay. Here we go. Okay. So now we got it there. We're gonna throw it in the hopper. I think that's what you call it. It's a hopper. Okay. But does the uh, that weight uh, also um, measure the weight the, so, the, the lid? So if you turn the scale on, if you put this top part on the scale before you turn it on, it automatically registers oh, zero. Gotcha. So I should have mentioned that before. Yeah. So unless I put sense. it on before, I forget what I did. But that's anyway. a smart machine. Yeah, smart, smart. These are like. $10 off of Amazon, so pretty easy to find. Okay, so we're gonna pop that in there. We're gonna close it up. I'm not gonna grind it yet because I'm waiting for this guy. While this is getting started, I am going to get my Chemex filter. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to use the white filters, not the brown filters, the bleached ones. Um, the brown ones have a taste to them. Yes. And if you... Um, yeah, these are the ones we these, use. The brown ones have, they put a flavor, like a paper flavor in the coffee, mm -hmm. and we want to avoid that, so. And for um, a long time, we were doing, um, like, straight into this, whatever this is called. Uh-huh. And just pouring, putting yeah. the coffee in yep. the water, and then we realized you need to yep. put the water yep. in to clean out the filter. Exactly. Okay, so we're going to um, pop this guy in here. I'm waiting for this guy. We're almost there. You can hear it you know, when it's close. So we're gonna wait till this, we're gonna wet this filter so that um, the coffee is ready to go in. So, okay, so one off. We're gonna put a little bit of this water in here. Oh, there we go, we're wetting the filter. Look at that. By doing this, we're also making sure that the Chemex comes to a good temperature as well because we don't wanna lose temperature as it's going in. It's so scientific, coffee, making coffee. Um, now, if you're really into recycling water, you could put this, you know, in a cup or whatever and, you know, water your plants or whatever later on. Now, I'm going to grind the coffee. That's very loud. So. Smells good, huh? Okay. Uh, okay. So this one it's doesn't done. have a. Uh, it does have a button in. in the front. So there are settings up here where you can determine what grind you want. Okay. Um, I have this set at 19. That's a great number for the Chemex. Okay. If you're doing like an AeroPress or the V60, you change it around for that. So Higher you can find all those numbers uh, off the off the internet. Internet. So. Yeah. We got some good coffee. You see, I don't know if you want to see that. So nice and ground perfectly for the Chemex. So now we're gonna plop this on here, uh, and then we're gonna put the coffee in here, just like that. Okay. Why on here? Because we're gonna measure how much water we're oh, putting in. Wow. So you measure the water as well. Um, so now we put this all on. The scale is off. Now I'm gonna turn the scale on. It's gonna be at zero. zero. Mm -hmm. So we're good to go. Okay. I'm gonna shake that out a little bit just to even out the coffee grounds. Now, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do what's called a bloom pour. Um, when, you, when you grind up coffee and you do a bloom pour, it's allowing some of the CO2 to come out of the coffee um, that, that was trapped inside. Uh -huh. And basically it gives you a smoother cup of coffee uh -huh. when the CO2 leaves in a bloom. So, so you're gonna, first of all, I usually do about 75 grams of water inside of here and you just pour it all over top just to to get a a good 
You wanna make sure everything gets wet. Here we go. Okay. Now, if you can see, it's like, can you see? It's blooming. I don't know if you can see it or not. I can't move it, but yeah, see, that's a beautiful bloom. So you see the, this like will only lava. happen with new coffee. Old coffee, this will not happen. So I can tell like instantly mm -hmm. after I do this, if the coffee has been roasted like close to, you know, yeah. like and a longer the... date or a, a newer date. So, yeah. I mean, it'll probably, it'll keep that way for about a month. Okay. And then it kind of goes away after that. So, but that is beautiful. So I usually wait about a minute. I'm gonna get us to about 300 grams uh, on the scale here. So I'm gonna go, gonna go here. I'm gonna keep it going circular here just to make sure all the grounds get in there. And we don't wanna do 600 grams of water all at once because one, it won't fit, but two, um, you won't be able to get the sides of the, um, the coffee as they go down. So does that make sense? Yeah, because it's gonna more water. Yep, they're going more. Yep, the grounds are going exactly higher on the wall. Yep. And that's a beautiful looking coffee. That that's gorgeous. So, um, you know, once once you've made a lot of coffee, you can kind of tell even like even in this the smell everything like if it's gonna be a good cup of coffee. So I can tell already that it's gonna be good. So, good. Chino, we're gonna pour some out. Well, we have to wait till we're at six hundred. It's a long process, folks. It is not short process, so. Mm -hmm. So that's why, that's another thing. It's not like your typical, you like press a button and it's done for you. Right. So um, there is a, you put a little love into the coffee and it loves you back, right? Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, mm -hmm. okay. So I kind of wait until it kind of gets a little bit further down um, and then I'll, I'll do another probably 200 grams of water, so. It's at 320 then? Three. Yep, it's at 320 grams right now. What are we going to? 600. 600. Yeah. So the reason why you do this is it just keeps you, it keeps it consistent. So every time you make a cup of coffee, it's the same. And I so. said I was going to bring you some Folgers coffee. You did. <laughs> you did. But and you I did. almost, I threw up in my mouth, literally. So, literally. So. Is this a good segue to uh, talk about you and your work? Oh, sure, sure. You do media work. I do. I'm a communications director slash pastor at a church in the area called Journey Church. Uh -huh. So um, so I'm our department's in charge of everything digital. So film, photography, um, anything you see on the screens, and print, mm -hmm. and marketing, mm -hmm. so social media website all that stuff yeah right. so everything pretty yeah. much and so we were talking one time about the people uh, we kind of hire or people we work mm -hmm. around and yeah you brought up oh uh, yeah the next generation is coming up it's like the hardest working generation yeah yeah uh, totally and so you have a big love for I Gen do. Zers I do yeah and actually today we have a surprise for you. Do I know this person? Uh, yes, you do. Okay, good, good, good. I don't even know the words to describe, but here's, give it up for Brad. Yeah. Yeah. The show just got more interesting. <laughs> it did. Brad. Brad's amazing. How do you drink your coffee? With a lot of cream. Good. <laughs> but you know you know Jason pretty well. Yeah, I know You guys I. done some work together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. True. She knows, she knows actually the person that got me drinking coffee, Black. Oh really? Yeah, I, when I first Chino. when I first came here, uh, he'd be like making coffee, and I was like, mm, I don't know, man. And I'd, I'd go in the fridge and I'd, I'd take like the two things of creamer he had from like mm -hmm. the summer before. <laughs> they were like super bad, and I would just stuff them in there. I don't know how and many then I got in there. like super bad stomach aches because I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. it was bad. So then I started <laughs> drinking my coffee black, and I asked I asked Chino how he does it, uh -huh. and he told me it's reputation. It's daily repetition. Repetition. Well, what's the word? Repetition. 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 Yeah. It's repetition. Yep. Yep. Yeah, repetition. And so uh, I just started drinking black coffee every day, and kind of like the first week kind of sucked. But then, oh, like, yeah, after yeah. after a week, it was kind of good. Mm -hmm. Like, there was nothing bad about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Well, we're going to have you taste this one because we're yeah. at 601. I know. It's, it's do we so take close. this out or what? Yep. We can We can do a little. Oh, let me, no. see. let me see. A little push. You want to see? Oh, it looks like push. it looks like it looks Lava. like looks maple like, sugar. It looks mud. like mud. It's yummy. 
Okay, so we're gonna do this guy here. You could take this and dry it out, put in a plant bed if you want to, uh, just save to the save the earth. But, you know. Okay, which do you prefer? Of course. So you gotta, you gotta do the, the nice. Calavera? Which one would you like? Calavera. Okay. Here you go. I'll just give you a little cup. It's gonna be hot. So. My mouth is already burnt. I had some okay. pizza. Okay, good. Here is you it, go. this me? Yeah, that's you. Okay. Yeah. That's all you. Is it? And then, I, what I learned too is mm -hmm. to slurp it. Yep. Or I don't know how you. Yeah. Yeah, the slurping. Yeah. So, Chino, what's can the story with these mugs? Oh, these are from oh, Mex me. yeah, Mexico. Here. You can have this one, Jason. I'll oh, take thank the, you. Uh, I'll be a the humble You know, the smell isn't servant. that strong. Yeah, he's a humble the servant. The smell isn't that strong, to be honest. Or is it just me? What? Uh, I mean, it's not, it, it's certain it doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't smell like, it doesn't smell like pre-ground. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. It has a different smell. It's like smooth. Mm. It smells smooth. Yep, that's it. Mm. That was good. Tastes not, like nothing we do every morning. But it's good that you do it this way. Yeah, cheers. It's I definitely, mean, yeah. Here in Altura, we don't yeah. really have an hour to make coffee. We're actually <laughs> working, right? Oh, or gosh. making these videos. <laughs> <laughs> making videos about coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's um, good. This is, it's, 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 uh, I don't even know how you'd say it. Like, which country, you've been around the, the world, what country does it remind you of? Does Guatemala. it remind you of Guatemala? Ooh. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. Maybe okay. like Belize? Belize, Ooh. okay. Well, it's very, it's like, it's like Rudy. It's like Rudy. Does that make sense? Hmm? Yeah, it has Rudy tones. <laughs> Augustine's <laughs> laughing at me. It tastes Rudy. Dude, I promise you it tastes like straight roots. <laughs> Straight roots. It's good. It is very good. Thank you for buying this, Chino. I'll be taking it home with me. Thank you. Yep. Sounds good. That's we don't have a roast uh, yeah. grinder. A grinder. <laughs> you can just leave your. You can leave the grinder. You can. Oh, take I the could. Beans. Yeah, that's true. One or the other. Okay. Good to know. All right. Well, that wraps it up. Uh, leave a comment to say how Jason messed up and maybe he. <laughs> Doesn't I am not a to... coffee expert, please. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's leave it at that. Also, any Gen Zers out there, comment on why this was a waste of time and you can just buy your coffee at Starbucks and it's so much cooler to do that. So thanks to Brad for being here, yes. Jason. Uh, that is That concludes our first episode of Something Something Coffee here at Altura. Yeah. Thanks guys, see ya. Peace. Like the first sip was like alright, it's getting better.